What's going on everybody? Welcome back. I wanted to make this video for a while now. I've had some time behind um, this holster system and this is pretty much what I've completely switched over to for competition and for training and classes and stuff. It's the G-Code RTI holster setup. And you'll notice that everything is kind of a quick detach so you can switch back and forth between different holsters. This isn't going to be geared so much towards somebody that um, doesn't have a lot of range time. But for those of you that have a lot of guns or you switch between divisions and you don't want to have to buy three or four different kinds of holsters for each gun, um, this is a really killer setup. You'll notice this is one of the holsters I had before. This is for my SIG 226X5. Um, it used to have a Safari Land drop on it and G-Code makes a backer to replace that with the same screw holes so that you can use it on these holsters or the holster rigs or setups, whatever you want to call them. And pretty much the way it works is you'll see that there's three pins on the back of this hanger and a bunch of keyhole cutouts in the holsters. And pretty much you just slide it in, pull it down, and then lock it in. And then that's a very secure holster in whatever platform you want it. I have the drop for my competition and my thigh holster for when I'm out with my plates on or if we're out having a class, I'll usually use the leg holster. And you'll see it just has these tabs on this side. If you want to switch it, you just push them out, slide it up. And this is what the normal hangers look like for um, when I started having my holsters made specifically for this. It's a little bit cheaper to buy that bracket and it works the same way. Just pull it in, slide it down and push that tab to lock it in. And then that's how quick you can switch between having holsters or if you want to switch guns or if you're shooting two different divisions or if you're just at the out at the range in a bay or something where you can actually draw and have fun an easy way to switch between holster setups so here's the drop it's just like a normal drop let's see how it toggles right the toggle switches toggle right there and there's a little locker on the bottom one Let's see if I can get that in the light for you. You'll see it comes across and locks in to the pins. So that's it. That's how easy it is to switch these over. And I'll throw them on real quick so you can see what they look like. But I just wanted to show you guys um, the new system that I've been using, and I actually really like it. Um, very versatile, and it makes it really easy to switch back and forth between different rigs. All right, so here's the drop. Say, you know, you're at... If you're shooting USPSA or whatever, and you're shooting single stack or whatever whatever division you usually shoot, this is my limited 10 gun, and you were shooting another division that day and you had to switch stuff back and forth, you can just pop that little hook out and just take the holster off. And then say you were going to switch over to limited or whatever, just take that. Pop it on and lock it on. And then you can just switch back and forth nice and easy. So I love that. It gives you the ability to have, use these holsters for a drop. And then I can also, if I needed to or wanted to, switch them over to my thigh holster, which I'll show you guys next. But yeah, nice and easy to switch back and forth to whatever you need with those little hangers just by putting them on and clicking it in. So that's that. Let me show you guys the thigh holster. All right, so this is the setup I have when I got my plates on or if I'm out training or whatever. So you'll see the thigh holster. I got my thumb brake holster for my flashlight. I only have another video on this gun for you guys. It's my new uh, double stack 1911 and 9mm 22 TCM from Rock Island. All the internals have been ripped out and it's got a Wilson Combat internals, hammer, and all the good stuff. So I'll have a video coming up on this pretty soon. But you'll see I got that holster on. Now say I want to switch to something else or if I just want to switch guns for a part of the day. I can pop this guy off. And then here's my 357 SIG. Just pop him right on and I'm good to go. And then the nice thing is just like if I wanted to practice with one of my comp guns, I can just throw one of the competition holsters on there, lock it on, 
and it's good to go. So again, really loving this setup. Just wanted to make a quick video to show you guys. Um, these RTI, RTI um, holster systems are awesome. So if you've been, if it's something you think you've needed, where you switch around a lot of guns and you don't want to have a holster made for every single thing that you're doing, um, this is a really good way to get around it. You can get one made, and once you buy the whatever rig you want, the thigh holster, the drop, they have a shorter thigh holster. They call a mule leg. They have non-drops. So you can just get one thing and then switch it back and forth, and that works out pretty well. So thanks for joining me today, guys. I hope somebody this answered some questions for somebody or maybe gave you a new idea for it because I really love this holster system. Thanks, everybody, for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to put them below in the comments section. If you haven't already, please subscribe. You can do that by clicking that little circle that pops up there. And remember, if you're looking for a new pet or animal, please adopt. There's thousands of animals looking for a new home, and that home could be with you. Have a good night, everybody. Thank you.